so happy to be here with Sonia, uh, one of my favorite people in the world. And uh, Sonia, you're going to say, you, you say that to everybody. No, it's true. Uh, it's true. Um, so yeah, Sonia is in uh, my one of my uh, group um, mm. coaching programs right now. And uh, so we're going to be talking with Sonia uh, several times this year. And hopefully you'll kind of see the progress of growth and um, different tips that you're going to learn from, from Sonia's progress each time. So without further ado, Sonia, welcome. And let's start with your intro. I know there's a story there that you might want to tell. And <laughs> but uh, let's 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 go there first. Okay. I'll start with the yeah, I'll start with the actual intro before I tear it to shreds. Um I provide magical support support services to help people find direction or purpose. Um nice. boom. I said nice. it. Nice. Now I can tear into it. <laughs> I, I, these, these, um, this idea of introducing yourself with this really tiny little thing, it just feels so calculated and cold to me that I keep trying to find something that sounds authentic and real. And I feel like so much of the world has fallen to this place of like, well, I got to make up, I got to make up professional sounding language. Right. And I just want to say like, I do woo stuff to help people with their shit. But like, I can't put shit on Instagram. I can't, you know, I can't, I get zero in, you know, zero visibility if it's on Facebook, like, like as soon as I start swearing <laughs> and, you know, I just feel like there's such a, um, it's, it's been a, a thing for me for a long time. And I think this is part of why your stuff appeals to me so much is just coming through authentically, right? Like when I was in the business world and all these business languages started coming up in tech of people. And it's like, you know, we already have words for that. We already have ways to say those things. Why are you making up new language to make yourself sound more impressive? Can we just talk about it authentically so that everybody actually understands what you're saying? Um, and that's where most of my struggle is with trying to come up with these things is, is like, I just want to talk about it. I don't want to have a concise, perfect little container yeah. to put it in but i recognize that i need that little container to exist out in the you know in, yeah. in little blurbs that only give you so many letters as a first step into your work you know because yeah. um it's the front door into your you know your large home that has many rooms that you offer different things to different people but the front door has to have uh, have some recognition. Oh, that's a front door. I can I can enter there. I guess. Yeah, right? and it's yeah. like everybody. I feel like everybody's trying to make their front door look like the perfect sliding door on a on a business. You know, a very well, pretty business that's building. Such a good analogy. Yeah. Right. But yes. like, I want the Hobbit door. Yeah. I want yeah. Like, yes. You know where there's vines and stuff, or like I want the sci-fi door where it's like you're yeah. not exactly sure where the door is, but you're gonna find it, and when you yeah. do, you're gonna feel really good. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's such a great analogy because um, the front door to our business is made for and meant for our ideal clients, and it's also meant to repel is maybe too strong a word yeah. but at least no let i think the, repel is good yeah it's, let the less ideal clients just walk on by yeah you know and yeah. and if your ideal client has no interest in walking into the big shiny business building like why are you trying to make the big shiny business building door right like yeah yeah and so that's that's my struggle is like where's my hobbit sci-fi door where's my secret door that isn't so secret that nobody knows there's a door <laughs> right. right right exactly yeah well um so so we're gonna talk i'm gonna talk with you on this these interviews several times uh during the during this year and so hopefully the audience can follow along your journey please feel free to look at the links i'm just talking to the audience here look at the links below this video or this uh show notes um, just to get, you know, access to Sonia's content and kind of follow, follow Sonia's journey. Um, but we're going to talk about your current, you know, learnings and your progress and your priorities right now. So why don't we start with, well, I know we're, we're, we're just, we're just getting started in the, in the group coaching program this year, but you've been kind of around my content for a little while. I'd love to hear any progress you want to share, um, what you've yeah. learned thus far. Yeah. Well, the thing that stood out to me as I was kind of reviewing, my life yesterday in your <laughs> questionnaire um, is like, I 
So what I'm noticing right now is there's really a push. Uh, there's a there's a conflict between um, wanting to like like how am I going to structure my business? What's the structure that supports a sustaining business? Because I've had a lot of ups and downs. I've had a lot of movement that um, you know starts that that get a little bit you know. And there's a huge long trail of the usual, like, oh, my business was me finding myself at first, right? There's that, that whole history feels like it's recently wrapped up. Thank God. I mean, it never stops, but also, you know, I feel like I'm pulling up a little on that one. But right now the real push is like, especially being in your world of, um, I have a very clear through my astrology and through readings I've had and through my own instincts and through just all these different and and my own sort of life review taking a very practical life review of recognizing that I don't deal with scheduling I don't I don't follow schedules I create them and love them and then I never follow them and so like I've had this these indications through a lot of my stuff of I'm not supposed to do it that way I'm not supposed to create a schedule that I, you know, really work into and sit down with. And, um, but I'm also, it's also not about like sort of this follow your fancy. Like it's not that it's, I know it's not that because as you said repeatedly, that does not work. Um, and so it's, I, I, I like that. I like, I like that phrase. I haven't heard that before. Follow your fancy. It's, I don't know really, where that came from. That's yeah. really catchy. And, uh, <laughs> and I like it. Um, well, and the thing is, is, is that I think there's a big misunderstanding between following your intuition yeah. and following your like impulses. Those right. are different. Yeah. And um, if I am following my guides through my business, there are plenty of days where I'm like, no, I don't want to, I don't want to do really, you could, I don't want to do that. And like, <laughs> and, and, and so it's not about like, where do you feel like being today? It's about like, it still has its own sort of um, structure that you have to work with, but it's not the same as trying to create blocks of time. And so it's like, I've got this one thing over here and then I've got my George like system over here going, oh, but you should schedule. And I'm just like, oh no. So what it's really about is right now for me is trying to find um, how to follow this guided direction and going in a hundred percent because I've been feeling it for a long time, like, like years at this point. And when I do it, it all works out, you know, like I had my business kind of like slowly diminish, um, to the point of being almost nothing, uh, a couple of months ago right before I discovered that my mom has massive memory issues and I needed to spend all of my time moving my mom into my house. Wow. And so it's like that I couldn't have planned that. Yeah, and then and I amazing. was resisting that happening, but, but I watched it and I'm like, something's coming. And I felt that something was coming, wow. but I, I, I had hoped it was in my business. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And it made a huge amount of space that I would have been a disaster if I had tried to do all of that while holding on to the the amount of sort of in and in and out business that I had before. So it's like, well, I, I need to lean into trusting it. Um, but that's super hard for me. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So I need I, to go in a hundred percent and it's like, it's, I feel like a, I feel like a traitor in the George world of like, <laughs> no, no, about no, scheduling, no. but I'm going to follow my intuition instead. <laughs> well, and, and I'll just come in here and say, I love rebels, as you probably <laughs> know, because I myself am one, uh, at least in the marketing space and yeah. a little bit into productivity. I talk, but but I love rebels, and I think of myself. I did this analogy just came to me, kind of like a um, what do you call those? Uh, my, I just came back from vacation, so I'm a vacation brain. Uh, when you jump off a pool, what's that? What's that thing called? Oh, the diving board. Diving board. board diving board. Yeah. Thank you. So I I see myself. I, my teaching is a diving board because. Um, it has to be stiff enough where you can actually stand on it, but it has to be flexible enough where people can like jump and do their own thing and do yeah. their own bounces and things like that. So I, I, so in other words, yes, I want you to, Sonia, I want you to 
bounce against you know, the diving <laughs> yeah. board of my productivity teaching so that you can do <laughs> your own flips and land in a really cool way. That's only yeah. you can do. Um, because I, I do feel like, like, and we, we talked about this a little bit before, like you're, you're creating some kind of system uh, structure, might, might we say that other people can probably benefit a lot from yeah. if they had the kind of clarity that you do as you develop this thing, because it's still, a, I mean, it, no matter it's what, it's absolutely a system. It's a right. routine. It's a ritual. It's all yeah. of those things. It's yeah. just that it's like this urge that I've had to make it be scheduling blocks on a calendar. It's not about time. And that's, that's the part that is hard for me. Cause I always, I always try to come back around to time or, or, you know, there was, um, there, isn't there a word in Greek for time? That's not calendar based, but it's more <gasps> opportunity based. Is there, oh, is there, there I, is a I, word I, now th I those of you watching this below. Greek. Please comment below. There is a Greek word. I, I studied this um, years and years ago. Uh, this was actually coming out of, um, I used to kind of study the Bible more than, uh, a lot more than I, I have now. But but yeah, there is a word for like opportunity time that's not calendar based. It's more like the, the some kind of, yeah, it's like, it's like destiny or like the rhythms of life or something. Like kind of the thing you're talking about that there, there was an, there was an, there was a time for your caretaking to start happening um, that that wasn't like, oh, it's going to happen on September 1st or something like that. No, it's it's going to happen when it happens, but you sensed into it. That yeah. was what's really cool about it. And I feel like that's that's a system that I would love for you to develop and teach to like, because, because your woo is strong, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> your sense of that time, those opportunities, that intuition, that... Um, the rhythm that's coming into your life is probably stronger or more aligned, more sensitive to it than a lot of people who think they're following their intuition. Yes, exactly. Yes. That's so much. That's such a huge thing for me of like, we have what we think is our intuition that is often a, a blend of our intuition mixed in with shoulds and supposed tos, and they kind of clash with each other. And it, and especially if you're also seeking like spiritual guidance from, from whatever it is that's happening up there, like, because that can also have its own, like, it's okay to have your spiritual guidance conflict with your own sense of direction. And you don't have to always take what they say. And you also don't always have to listen to your, I mean, it's, it's messy, it's messy. Um, and so it's so important to start to figure out like, where are my shoulds and where are my have tos and how are they interfering with what I'm actually being given? Because let me tell you, <laughs> like, the idea of following my woo is so terrifying to me. And I've been trying to do it anyway, right? I'm just trying to do it anyway, but I grew up as the science kid and the math kid and the like, fuck spirituality. That's ridiculous, kid. I was a hundred percent in that space. And so to have you say like my was strong, I'm like, well, it can't be because I haven't been doing it long enough or I don't have the history for it or I have too much doubt or all of that, you know? And so I just hit like 20 different topics at once, but um, that's great. what were we talking about? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's exactly this. I mean, we're, we're, we're yeah. talking about well, we're always talking about you know, authentic business and that's exactly what you're um, continuing to sense yeah. into and build and develop because, um, okay, so. And, so, and this... so what I, when you talk about like wanting me to like come up with this system or whatever, that's really what I'm kind of hoping for out of this year is that I need to dive into it. I need to be all in and either it will work and I'll be able to be like, Hey, I developed the system and also, ah, ha, ha, I successfully rebelled or it won't work. And I'll be like, oh, okay. That didn't work the way I needed it to. And I need to bring in these other pieces, but now I know because now I you didn't know. just, now, you know, from firsthand sit. experience, absolutely. Yeah. You, you do need to dive into it fully. Like I said, I love rebels. I myself am one and I would never want someone to go. My guidance is leading me this way, but George is saying this thing. My guidance is leading me this way. I, I would be, 
I would be horrified if someone says, I'm going to follow George's guidance and not my own guidance. Yeah. Because then you're not being true. You're not being authentic, the authentic business, <laughs> not being authentic yeah. to yourself. And like I said, I like playing. What's that word? It's the, it's the bouncing. It's the, um, uh, there's a particular word for, again, vacation brains. If someone hears it below, comment below, like the, the word for someone who's kind of like the, the one who bounces off so that you can create your own authenticity. Yeah. I like being that. Some, now, some people, what were you going to say? Oh, I was just going to say, I think it's springboard, right? You want to be springboard. Springboard, but yeah, there's also another word. But the, it's like, oh, or, or, um, or like, I guess, I guess there was a, maybe, maybe I'm mixing words here, but like in a, in a, in a drama, like there's, there's like the, the enemy or there's like the, there's like the oh. person protagonist has to have a, what do An you call antagonist. it? Antagonist. Antagonist or has to have someone that makes or, the uh, protagonist go on the journey and become strong. So I kind of feel like you need teaching... your, you need your Gandalf, which you like, yes. you want, you there want people, go. you want to be that you're that's, this is why we connect because <laughs> I'm in that same yeah. space. Yeah. Um, so, so, so it, it, long story short, I'm really, yeah. because what, when, when you do come up with your system or at least your deep learnings based on your experiences, it's going to be so helpful for all of my joy for productivity people as well. Um, so, okay. Um, well, and I just want to, I want to, I really want to emphasize what you just said too, because I think it's so important that um, people get into these spaces of learning places where they have their leader and they get really stuck. And I see it sometimes in the group where, where somebody gets really stuck on like, but George said this, but I'm not good at that. And it, And it's like, that's so important to allow space for that. It's one of the reasons why I've heard you say that. And I think it's so important to really bring in to this space of like, this is my teaching and use it to go bounce into your own space, whatever that bounce word is. That we right. Think of. Yeah. Which, which may go seem to go against my teaching, but yeah, I, I am and I one human being, you know, who has <laughs> so had some experiences. I I I know zero point zero zero can there cannot be enough zeros one percent <laughs> of reality, you know, and yeah. and it's like it's like like I said, I I I I sometimes sound really um, certain and persuasive because I want to challenge people to listen to their own intuition and go. Does that does that feel right or does that feel off? And I want to do my own thing. Great. That means you're going to expand all of our knowledge together because you might, you know, Sonia, you know, you might come up with a system where I'm like, it's better than joyful productivity. Let's let's <laughs> let me bring that for forefront into. Or know. it's different, right? Or it's, it's different. Just, it's it's different. for different it's, people. And if yeah. you're if you're this kind of person, you you, you should absolutely use Sonia's system, and and I'll probably you know borrow parts of it. <laughs> but but um, okay, so this is this is really great, and I can't believe our time is uh, is is coming to a close. It's I want to do. Yeah, no, it's great. I love it. I love it. I want to I want to make sure we cover a couple of things. One is, um, uh, of course, I want I want you to tell people about your work a little bit more than just your one line intro earlier. But I also want to hear what your priorities are that we can check in on yeah. in our next interview with you. Yeah. Right. So um, yeah, my priorities are absolutely to have just really stuck with this ritual this morning because when it's the it's in the morning. It's all about if my if I have constructed the beginning of my day where I check in with my guides and I chat with them and find out what's up. Um, the rest of the day has its own path. And, and that's the thing I need to do that all the time, because when I'm just doing it a little bit here and there, it's, it's scattered. Um, I've also just recently worked on getting really organized in the last like week. It's been like, get my stuff together, get things automated, get my processes a little more tech or automated. Cause it was very manual before. And I was really annoyed. Um, cause I'm tech enough that I really need it to be like a little more you know, functional. So I just finished that literally last night where I had everything I have, you know, people can purchase and it's going to automatically go into notion. And then notion's going to like make tickets for me. And I got it. So I'm excited to use that. So using that, um, so it's really about checking in every day and, and following having faith. It's about having faith for me consistently or, or leaning into that. That's what I'm trying to work on. Um, and as far as what I offer, um, 
you know, I really, I really, uh, before you go, I just yes, have yes. to say that is awesome. Um, <laughs> like, like that, that, that should quote unquote be the priority for all of us, right? Like, like we, we need more faith in our higher selves to guide us and like to become more sensitive to that and to, and to follow that yeah. guidance. I mean, we've been super programmed in this society to, to be, to be really like science-based and, and I bought in a hundred percent and I still do in a lot of ways, which makes it, makes it tricky, but that's its own conversation. Yeah. Um, so a lot of what I try to offer is like a grounded, we've talked about this, having a grounded practical balance between spiritual. And I think this is part of the problem is that, is that people take off with spiritual stuff into like, what are you talking about? You know, and they could just disappear into a new zone that is left behind this existence here on earth. <laughs> like, so having the spirituality that connects us to our experience. Um, and so I work with guides. I have tons of guides who I actually talk to and, you know, that's something that can be practiced. And I firmly believe that everybody can do it. Um, I, when I started, like, I would get like, and I was like, well, I heard a ungabu. Okay, great. I'll write that down. You know, it's so like <laughs> Love this that. is manageable for everybody. Maybe ung ungabu means something profound in some other language. It probably <laughs> does. I was actually, yeah, I probably was like, hey, you know, your language, you need to tone it down a little. Um, so guide work and tarot and like divination and um actual spell work, um, like working with physical tools. We have a lot of language right now that says. Um, we should be able to do it all in our minds. And I'm like, no, 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 We are here. We have tools, we have physical existence and we have these physical things that help. So why not use them? Like, you don't wanna do calculus without a calculator. It's just not as fun. So let's also do spirituality with these physical tools that we have around us. So I do lots of physical magic um, and it's all really fun. And it's always about helping people get clear and get um either a sense of direction or purpose usually those two things like you kind of need to get purpose kind of happens first and then your direction is like whoa what happened you know I'm, I'm i'm still struggling to understand my purpose or they already have purpose and they're not trying to focus on that they're like i just don't know how to go in that direction so i'm usually helping people with one or the other um they say a bit more about that so um give me maybe a little imaginary story of an ideal client who is struggling with something um, um which one yeah which let's one? let's let's do one of each how's that okay so if somebody is struggling with direction um you know it, well i'm going to use myself because it's sure. a really easy sure, example yeah, yeah. which is mm -hmm. which is that i knew i well okay so actually i can be both because yeah. i knew there was a point where I felt like I didn't have direction. And what I used to describe was, um, I know there's a path and I'm supposed to be on it and I can't even see it right now. And it just mm. pissed me off. I was so angry. Yeah. And I was like, it's like, I'm this light. I have this light that's going out going, where, where's the path? I can't see it. Yeah. Um, and so I was mm. in my job and I'm just plugging away and it was very dull. And then I'd get little glimpses from my work of like, Oh, I've, I really enjoyed that conversation with somebody and oh wow that was really intuitive like i really something really interesting happened there that i so i started to get these glimpses right i needed some kind of sense of where is the path in my world i don't even know where it is um and then as i started to get into i you know found discovered like coaching as an idea um and as I started working with that, I figured out through multiple people who were spiritual helpers to me, I started to learn how much spirituality I wanted to have involved in my work, right? And that became under, understanding direction. So yeah, I'm sorry, understanding the purpose. Yeah. So that it's, it's just kind of back and forth between those two. And um, I think... Briefly, can you, just, can you, because yeah. you're, you're using these two terms purpose and direction it sounds to me like you're making an dis important distinction yeah. between the two can you yeah. can you distinguish that just briefly here why am i making a distinction between those two no um, i think i think it, it, i no, I, mean, I feel I'm, it I'm but i'm realizing i'm intuiting the distinction 
but I just yeah. want you to articulate it if it's possible to maybe yeah. maybe it's not yet possible. But okay, so I think part of it is that purpose feels like um, it's your values and it's it's mm. your and and sometimes especially when you're not working in it yet, it feels like it's over there. Oh, uh, okay, it's out somewhere else, uh -huh. and but it's it's it feels sort of like a destination. Yeah. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And the direction is like, well, how do I get there? Because it's not yeah. a straight line. It's like, yeah, it's yeah. over there. That doesn't work. You don't yeah. get to just jump to it. Got it. And so direction is like, well, right now I need to go this way. And then I need to so, go that way. So in business, direction language, is the path. Right. In, in business language it sounds to me like vision versus strategy or something like that. Like yeah. the, the vision of a business is like, but see a, those, that's... yeah. And those words just make me like, Blah, I know. <laughs> so yes, we, we're coming up with more, more woo friendly uh, language yeah. or, or, or more authentic language perhaps um, to oneself. So yeah, no, thank you. Thank because you. a lot of the time people say, I feel like I understand this about myself, but I don't know where to go now. What do I okay. do with it? And that's so where the direction comes. That's out. part of what you do is the yeah, absolutely. Part of it. You love I just I clear that. away a lot of it, and all of a sudden they come out of these sessions and they're like, oh, I need oh, to do this. I need to do that I, now. That's, now just that's to be so clear, like what aspect of strategy or direction can you help with? Cause I, because well, personally, I know how tech savvy you are and I know how business and marketing savvy you are as well. I know. You are, you are <laughs> savvy on all of these things. I um, know. So when you work it's with someone on direction, what kind yeah. of work are you, is happening there? I mean, it's mostly, yeah, it's mostly career and business. Yep. Um, yeah. guidance mostly because I'm not in the health and relationship fields. Right, like I just, right, those, right. and that's how it's like, well, then I guess that leaves me with career, career direction. Huge. And yeah. Okay. Um, that's very, that's yeah. very good. Well, um, to be continued. Yeah. Looking forward to it. And I hope you, okay. So if you could summarize the commitment you're making um, <sighs> for us to check in on, in the yeah. next interview, <laughs> how I know putting you completely on the spot, but no, no, it's how good. Might, how might you? How might you summarize uh, what would what we can check in on? Um, uh, it feels so stupidly simple, but it really no, is like how to do with those morning, yeah, guide check ins. Yep. And how's your faith looking? Like, yeah, it's those okay. two things. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> and how is that? I guess manifesting in your yeah days. Right? And how is it like? How is it showing up in the business? Because I'm I'm tired mm. of the so I'm I mean there's always soul searching, but like I'm done with the nose dive as far as my or, or the or the belly concerned. belly what do you call it the belly belly staring or something, yeah staring I don't know if that is what's that, that? oh nasal, I don't know that <laughs> navel gazing oh yeah <laughs> navel gazing <laughs> right um and so I'm so also like how is it working right is it like functionally practically speaking right how is it showing up in the business and yeah. is it having an impact cool cool yeah very good um so folks follow Sonia's journey and just to be clear uh pronounce your name for us just so that I can <laughs> be validated <laughs> you've been doing it this whole time i was really i was like yes he did it right it's sonia sonia good okay. so, yeah uh, so as opposed follow, to follow, yes. yeah follow our journey um in the links below uh we'll put whatever links you, you want to, to have there and um you know expect another interview in a couple of months so well cool. thank you so much sonia for doing this thanks george